bacon gravy with mashed potato is the ultimate comfort food. It's a little naughty, but that's why I like it. And it's full of flavour. What I start with is a few rashes of bacon. And I'm just going to dice the bacon. This is going to give it a really nice, smoky, savoury flavour. I don't mind if there's a little bit of fat on the bacon. In fact, I prefer it because it's going to give us extra flavour. I'll place this into a sauté pan. And I'll also add a little of the butter now. We'll be adding the rest later on. So about 50 grams at this stage. Now we need this to caramelise because the colour is going to give our sauce that extra depth of flavour. And while that's cooking away, I'm going to slice and dice some onions. So one large onion that we're just going to cut. And again, this is going to go in with the bacon and I want to get some good colour. So you do want to cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes together. Now I've got some good colour on the bacon and some of the fat has rendered out so we can add our onions. In they go. And again, they're going to cook for about five to ten minutes, just on a medium heat until we get some good colour. Is there anything better than the smell of fried bacon and onions? I think not, but it's going to be even better because we're adding some garlic and thyme now. So I'll crush one clove of garlic and then we'll just chop it. Just run your knife through it a few times. And then the addition of some thyme. It also works with rosemary, but it can be overpowering. So if you do want to use rosemary, just use a small sprig. I'm also going to finely chop this. So just the tips of the tender part of the thyme. It's perfect. And then in it goes. Now I'll add another knob of butter, so about 50 grams, and then we'll just mix that in. So you can see that we've got some good colour on our onions and our bacon, and we can add our flour. So this is the thickening agent of our gravy. So about three tablespoons. One, two, and three. And then just like you were making a bechamel, we need to cook out that flour so we don't have that raw flavour in it. And that doesn't take long at all. And now for the stock. Now you need good quality beef stock for this. It does make a difference to the end result. So we're going to add a small amount now, just a dribble, and give it a stir. You'll see it thicken up a little more of that stock. And then stir it through. And then we'll add the rest of this stock. And now we're going to bring it to the boil and let it bubble away for about five to eight minutes or until it thickens and becomes a super glossy bacon gravy. This looks so good, thick and rich. And now time to serve it. I like to add just a small amount of pepper, just at the last minute. And I'm not adding any salt because the bacon is salty enough. So just make sure you taste it and see if it needs some salt. Now, there's a few ways you can serve this. You can serve it with a roast, you can serve it with some hot chips. <gasps> That's delicious. Or I love mashed potatoes, lashings of mashed potatoes and lots of gravy. So into the centre of a bowl. Look at that. And we need to make a little indent just so our gravy can sit in the centre, just like a pool of gravy if you like. And then only a ladle will do <laughs> to serve a generous helping of our bacon gravy in the centre. Oh, this is definitely a wintry kind of thing. Maybe a Sunday night treat. And of course, I can't resist. This is something I have to have a taste of. Mm. Mashed potatoes and bacon and onion gravy. It's old school and that's why I love it so much. Thank you.